Hello, welcome to another Studio Central live Facebook video. We are here at Upbeat Artworks, the gallery. So we're surrounded by art, which is great for our creativity. So for those that don't know, Studio Central and Upbeat are part of Artbeat Studio, um, which is a nonprofit organization that believes in using art as a tool to um, work with mental, to work on mental wellness. So we have a, an artist residency over in the exchange and then we have Studio Central, um, which is our open art studio for anyone 18 plus and our gallery here for um, our artists to sell their work. So today we're gonna be doing one of our um, art demos that anyone can follow along. We're doing watercolor and I will turn the camera around and have Kate introduce as well as showcase one of our artists. Hello. <laughs> this is Marisa. Marisa's <laughs> baby. Marisa's baby. Uh, so uh, this one uh, turned out nice and you still can peel the pieces inside. So the more resin you Put, the more it covers it so yeah. when it comes to glass it's good to cover it really well so it does not cut through resin yep. uh, so let's come to some aftermath of what we've done last time yes uh, aftermath is uh, some glass pieces in the box were not filed or some of them were broken like we're breaking them and we didn't file them so they could stay really sharp so I would recommend to re-resin it or uh, file it before you do it because some of it stayed sharp or else you'll get cut the way that I did unfortunately <laughs> you got a little yeah. mm. okay. uh, with these pieces they are holding while well. you can touch it and see to yourself how it looks like yes. it's why it's I great. really we really want to cover Ooh, it yeah. in resin all the glass is covered with resin yeah. so it does not stay it's sharp it's sometimes it's hard to see because the <laughs> resin is clear so it's hard to tell yeah. how much you're putting on but exactly. well and then it sort of seeps down yeah so it settles and it's something to pay attention to for sure yes uh so the sides edges sometimes the resin does not go to the very very mm -hmm. edge so we yeah. can file it off and we could also place another resin layer on top that's a good idea talking about art artistry artistry does not always come from uh, a good plan and sometimes it's plan that you are not aware of so I went through the whole box and I erased the whole markings yes. I don't know I missed this piece probably yeah. and it somehow made it onto all these plates. yeah I forgot to <laughs> wipe off the pieces before I Kate said to wipe them off and I forgot so there's a mark on mine <laughs> but you know but it's a flower detail now <laughs> no it's fine <laughs> Could have been worse. <laughs> That's cool, though. Also, uh, I made this little pool for two wraps. <laughs> okay, so mm -hmm. uh, I got the file here. I got the um, tool that is called wire cutter. You can buy jewelry tools or you can get another wire cutter. So this is basically uh, what resin is when it's not, um, when you do not want a surface that is very even. You can wait for the time when the resin gets hot. When it gets hot, it means mm. it's better to not touch it. But if you touch it and mash it a little bit, it's very sticky. It's not satisfying anyhow. <laughs> you can. It's hard to get rid of manipulate that. Manipulate it. <laughs> so this is what you can get from that process. You should make a little pool with it. Yeah. Oh, so so we can cool. make a pool with it, right? So anyway, some pieces can be board. broken off easily because they're very thin. So this is how resin is when yeah. it's thin. Uh, then other pieces can be cut off. You can cut off some of it. And then the rest, it's either to file uh, with a big file and smoothen it up with a file like this. And then it might turn into something wonderful. I can paint it. I can put resin layer on top. So lots of possibilities. Also, if I make a very nice uh, edge here, I could just turn 
turn it upside down and use it for oh, yeah. anything else. So that could be uh, a display, that could be a base for the sculpture, yeah. a lot of things. If I painted it, it could be just a painting. Okay, I'm not very good at drilling holes, so this was my very first drilled hole in my life. <laughs> I'm going to redrill it. I don't know if it turns out. So this one is made for my friend. <coughs> so it's same, uh, same thing that I did. It was the disc. The disc uh, was uh, quite thin so originally. Oh, yeah. So I made a painting. This side was first. So this is actually uh, paint markers and water which does not give the stained glass effect. So if you put it in the glass yeah. against the sun, it would be see-through like, uh, mm, it would be a lot of cracks that you could yeah. see. So it won't look as good. It looks good when you look at it in the light like yeah. this, but it won't look as good if you put it in the window. So that one was not made to put in the window, but it can be still, but this side, not this side, and I did not make it see through anyhow. So that's my friend's birthday, that it's a belated birth, birthday gift. So this side, as you see, a little bit, I did not put anything inside, I was trying to be accurate, a little bit leaked through. So this is how resin looks like when it goes through. So my plan is to drill it again, and then this piece would be painted over with a mark, uh, the signature. So this is something uh, that is not hard to do. Drilling is hard because originally you need to fixate it really well so your fingers are not in the way and drill really. Yeah. You, like just, you, do, you can do a little bit, um, you can do it slowly. I, I've actually drilled a lot into resin and it just takes time. Mm -hmm. You just need the pressure, constant pressure and patience. <laughs> right, I use the electric drill. Yeah. And this was my first again mm -hmm. in my life. And it's always good to start it small. Was like this. So it's not even it's it yeah. goes like this. Yeah. It's a it's a, it's a good idea when you're if you're drilling into resin, it's a good idea to start with a, a really thin um, uh, drill bit and then just slowly if you depending if you need a, a larger hole to can like slowly gradually use bigger ones so that you start out and then can build on it. Alrighty, thank you Megan for your input. I'm not good at technical <laughs> detail like that, so I would, okay. and I would hide it uh, inside so no one gets <coughs> hurt today, you know, we got hurt enough already. So, okay, so I'm moving to a great presentation. This is one of our artists, Logan Powell, and Abby would give a little bit of a uh, <laughs> and, and while she talks, you can see the beautiful piece by Logan in the background. Logan Powell was born in Winnipeg in 1996. He took art classes all through school and later taught himself his current techniques watching Bob Ross and Stuart Davis on YouTube. I pretty much have their techniques down pat, he smiles. Professionally, he learned carpentry and developed it into working on building custom log homes including one that sold for $4 million. Carpentry has taught me how to complete projects, starting from zero and working with dedication until it's done, Logan says. The main body of Logan's work is focused on mountains painted from his imagination, on canvas and oils, his preferred medium. Since a trip to Calgary, when the mountain views blew my mind, he says his mountains have improved. They are solid and sharply focused in contrast with rustling grasses in the foreground and moving clouds in the background, which are handled with expansive, painterly brush strokes. Logan has also created a concept piece he describes as sort of an off-brand for me. It reflects his feeling as a Métis for Indigenous people, featuring a forest in monochrome with red footsteps representing both the traces of disappeared individuals and an entire people's lack of voice. Lately, Logan has branched off into painting human figures. Art Beat was great, very inclusive. I learned a lot from other artists, Logan says. It also let him experiment with acrylics and making ceramics, including an Easter Island head. 
unlike anything he'd ever done before. But landscapes, he says, remain my trademark. Also turn around, because we also have this uh, charcoal piece by Logan that's new in and very beautiful. It's very dramatic. Okay. So contrasting like to to his other landscape work, right? Mm -hmm. Which is very peaceful. So cool. I would ask Megan to put this right on the shelf here. So we just don't have too many. And this guy. Okay, so we're moving into what we're doing today, and we're going to have, well, even uh, for this week, last week, a lot of people were feeling a bit off, <laughs> and I decided this week we're relaxing, we're not doing anything too pressuring, and uh, we do not have to follow what I have here, anyone has their own ideas, and what I have, I used it for one of my workshops, this is just an image from clip art, and this is just flowers so we're thinking about mother's day and also uh, another technique i want to discuss is a technique of watercolor uh, on rocks we do not have a lot of rocks so we have watercolor painting uh, watercolor paper but also we got these two beautiful rocks that were gifted to me so i primed them with a spray primer white primer and then it was three layers of primer because of the, I tried to cover as much as I could to even it up more. Then I painted it white on top. Uh, so this one's, uh, who wants to paint on a rock? I'll try if nobody else wants to, but if you want, go for it. I don't know, I've, I've never seen anyone paint watercolors <laughs> on a rock, so I'm very curious. So, so I think, I'll give it a try. I yeah. think <laughs> that you can have a collective piece mm -hmm. Uh, so you can try like different parts of the yeah. rock and then I probably choose this guy over I want to create a Mother's Day rock that would go out yes. to the uh, mm -hmm. gardens or be gifted I will see so this one would be actually I see a fish here I don't know if someone <laughs> wants to the fish but you it can be a petal <laughs> or a leaf I yeah. don't know just uh, look at it and um, yeah. some pros of uh, watercolor uh, that it's very convenient we don't have to think about everything uh, watercolor has some uh, cons as well so one of the things is that the color can fade on the direct sun so <coughs> if you're planning to put it outside mm -hmm. just consider that it would need to be refreshed uh, and you can refresh it with acrylic uh, unless you resin it, then you can just paint it over on top of resin and resin it again. So that's we'll not uh, zoom in on the problem. But uh, again, watercolor, <coughs> if you just spray seal it, it would not hold watercolor in. Watercolor, the only thing that actually holds it in is resin. Okay. So for that one, if you create something that you really like, you can repaint it with acrylic if you don't go with it then this can be spray sealed or sealed with a varnish uh, that is a brush on which can be duraclear or other mediums that you can use for that but if you create something with watercolor on a rock my recommendation would be to resin the rock and fading is guaranteed because watercolor fades even if it's not in direct sunlight with time it can fade so uh, it's just the time that you give for storage and outdoors, it definitely needs to be refreshed in, in a year or so. Okay, uh, I got the brushes, you can choose the brushes you want, and you can try on the side of the rock maybe, just, um, I think it's good to pass the rock around, yeah. and you decide if you want to paint on it or not. <laughs> so you can all try and yeah. see if it works out for you. So the center would go for whoever chooses who connects with it the who most. Connects to the, <laughs> because uh, paper is more convenient and more, I'd say it's uh, easier to operate yeah. than the surface, so you can have a challenge. So here, just choose the brushes. Okay, this one. This one is actually really good to use. A brush like that. You can. Oh, 
Okay, I'm not disturbed by this. <laughs> Luckily, nothing oh, to smudge okay. yet. <laughs> okay, so this is not, if you don't want to paint this, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. It's for me, and you can choose yeah. if you want to. I like having a reference. Yeah. And yeah, whatever you get there. And uh, yeah, let's start. Here we go. Can you pass me some of the brushes? Yes. Not for you. <laughs> I've got to paint with my fingers, which is... We all made the decision before you came. <laughs> we took a vote and you lost. This is how this works. <laughs> I just want to try the colors before I start, so I also work on the side of the rock first. Mm -hmm. Once again, oh, yeah. not for you. <laughs> I would like one as well. <laughs> I'm not asking too much. <laughs> so I just want to create some something on the side first. And also I want to make watercolors work because when they start working, they need to be, to, it takes a little bit of time to start these ones yeah they're different from other watercolors and i it's the first time i actually paint with this so i want to try it out first <laughs> let me just see what shows there oh they're very interesting So, I don't know if it can be called power up, but let's power up the watercolor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like warm them up. <laughs> A little bit of water. Almost painted with the wrong side of the brush. <laughs> They're a bit different from what um, I used to. This red looks like I can work it out for the rose. So how's your feeling? Good. <laughs> Have you tried on the rock a little bit yet? No, I will do that right after I do the rose. <laughs> Because the rose is the biggest hard one for me. <laughs> I've never been able to do roses very well. Are you kidding me? That looks amazing. <laughs> Thank you, I'm trying. I can't do, I don't know. I haven't done flowers that much. And we don't have to paint exactly what is there, just a reference and then we can create to recreate. Yeah, I took one of the pictures because I usually like drawing from references, mm -hmm. but then I just went completely off immediately. <laughs> I didn't even try. <laughs> Thank you. 
this is your destiny to be different. <laughs> okay. Is it actually gray? <laughs> or black? It's hard to say. But it kind of works out for what I'm doing, but I could use brown for that as well. Let's try. I'm so used to acrylics that I'm not doing it the way many artists do it. Oh, yeah. So I'm using two different reds anyway, but I also use a lot of white and with watercolors it's different. Yeah, I remember when we did watercolors before, your, your watercolor painting somehow looked like acrylic. <laughs> I'm used to using acrylic too, so, but it's, it's interesting um, when you're playing with different mediums and using them the way you use the other one, seeing the difference is pretty cool. And each time it's different too, and you can yeah. place as many layers, and combining acrylic with watercolor is yeah. helpful too. Oh yeah, this black is more definite. Could use this one. Ooh. That was annoying. <laughs> <laughs> follow it up too. Like this one, they're hard to start with, but then they the a little bit easier to operate. Plus, do not get upset. I have something uh, <laughs> extra. So what we have done, Something needs a highlight that is not doable or something. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I was worrying a little bit. Easier. <laughs> oh.
again we don't have the time for drying so it won't be the technique that gives very definite colors yes definitely it's good to work with spots let it dry and then come back to it yeah we don't have that kind of time here <laughs> and again, you always know when we're focusing because the live gets very quiet. Yeah. This is so calm. I'm also used to acrylics, but at the same time, I like watercolors more than I thought I would. Because <laughs> I, I always had issues because I can't, like, you know, you can't really control them as well. Kind of, you have to go a little bit with the flow. Unless you're really good. But... They can be very nice. enjoyable. Yes. Yeah, it's just the right paper and the right... Mm -hmm. um, yeah, sometimes it's the matter of what you're painting on to. That looks beautiful. Thank you. I'm trying, but I just don't know where to place them. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. This brush has a hair that is sticking out and it's just one. Me so much. Yeah. Just one, yeah. I'll get another brush. Because each time I'm getting to do something and it goes out and out and out. Yeah, I'll get I'll try this. <laughs> yeah, when you buy brand new brushes, sometimes these are perfect and sometimes they... Yeah. Oh. from out there, all the energy to it, it's so serene. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really 
wanted to take some rest today because I feel like last live was demanding from the point of view of the material, right? Yeah. And I wanted to just, oh, let me just sit and just mm -hmm. relax. So I just, I didn't even go with the exact what we have here. I just want to yeah. <laughs> just be in the process, but not really focus much. More of a space to wrap to wrap kind of a day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I need to let it dry first before I continue. What about the next flower? <laughs> That's good for the bigger brush, I think. So pink now. I'm so used to acrylic that I start with orange and go to yellow. Well, it's supposed <laughs> to be the opposite. <laughs> I can always brighten it up afterwards. And again, I'm used to adding detail afterwards with paint marker or acrylic. Yeah. acrylic. So I'm just making a base instead of working from light to dark as I'm supposed to. <laughs> Just yellow, just some yellow. <laughs> Let it dry. Okay, these. Oops. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How's it going? I'm Ooh. just playing around with Hello. I'm playing with different things here. I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Very different from any of yours. <laughs> oh my goodness, Holly, that is amazing. <laughs> Um, oh, how cool. I actually want... Are you using this one? Uh, I was using a little bit of it, yes, but you can you can use that. Um, you know, like get a bit of range. Way. Oh, here. Is, oh, is this okay? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, that really looks good. <laughs> awesome. There's so many colors. Because this one is hard to reach and it's on the edges and it's not the same shade too. Oh, 
Okay, what you want to? Okay, I need a good background, and I'm not leaving it white, so it would be. I think in, Okay. Yeah, and I think we could totally wrap up for today and then just photograph the results. I yeah. think it's uh, good enough because everyone's so focused. So <laughs> We're like, too focused. Like, yeah. this is like a, we need music for like a mindfulness meditation. <laughs> That's what today feels like. It's very zen, very now and here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We say we're gonna wrap up and then we just keep being focused. Yeah. <laughs> you can't pull me away from this. I don't know if anybody's watching. Like, do you want? Do you want to just? Do you want the peacefulness of us? Oh, how beautiful! Your turn. Oh goodness, I, 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 I feel as though. I, 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 I don't, I don't know. <laughs> If I add to this, it's going to be very different. And I, I don't That's know. the point. Yeah. I have no no qualms. Who knows what that was supposed to be? <laughs> hey, you know if I touch it, it's going to be so, <laughs> something so <cute>. weird. <laughs> I'm not even close to uh, having the uh, detail yet, so just get in there so I think yeah it it would be really hard for me to both focus and talk and yeah anything there so I just when we enjoy ourselves a little too much and get really focused <laughs> it's not like <laughs> podcast like we should have conversation topics ready we <laughs> should <laughs> Or that's just a different project. The Art Beat Podcast. <laughs> oh my gosh, we need one. I couldn't do a podcast because I think I get too crass by accident. Yeah. That's amazing though. That would make it so cool. That would be like that's <laughs> totally for a healthy, inclusive community. How do you just swear it? Yeah. It's dynamic. What do you want? <laughs> I, I agree with this. Enjoy your bleeping day. <laughs> Bleeps are valid. <laughs>
is green. I need it. <laughs> it's like a muscle fly. Absolutely. Just look at it. It's so good. <laughs> oh my gosh, your rock looks beautiful. <laughs> I'll get there. <laughs> You're very close from my perspective. <laughs> No, it's oh, it's, it's still on. It's still on. Okay. Still okay. <laughs> Do we want to say goodbye? Then it's been. Uh, how long is it? Bye bye. See you. We'll post them.